So today I want to talk about how to use your TI-84 or your graphing calculator, any graphing calculator, to help you find limits by table. So I've got a function here. It is x plus 3 over x squared plus 4x plus 3. And we have been asked to find the limit as x approaches negative 3. Now, if you try to do this by direct substitution, you get 0 on top and 0 on bottom. So we can't do that. Now, there's other ways to do this, but what I want to show you is how can we use our calculator to come up with this limit. So I've got my function here. I'm going to go ahead and graph this function. And if I graph this function, we're going to see it has an asymptote. Uh, looks like it's around negative 1. And we're actually looking here at negative 3. That's kind of where we're looking. So we're looking for that limit. Okay. And what we want to use is we actually want to use the calculate menu. So if you've done a limit by table, you understand that limits by tables require you to plug numbers in. And you'd have to plug in you know, 2.9 here, here, and here and 2.99 and 2.999. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to the calculate menu and we're going to use this value function which is option one. So you're going to press enter and I'm going to put negative 2.9. Okay and real quick I want to make sure you understand. I'll slide my calculator up here. This is the subtraction key. This is the negative key here. Make sure you're using the negative key. Okay. So with that said, here we go. We type in x equals negative 2.9. Okay, hit enter. And I can write this y value down in my table. So when x is negative 2.9, y is negative 0.5263158. Now without going back to the menu, I'm going to type negative 2.99 and press enter. And I get negative 0.5025126. And I'm going to write that number down in my table. And then I'm going to go negative 2.999. And I'm going to get a y value of negative 0.5002501. And so those values are tending towards negative 0.5. And that is just to the right of negative 3. 2.9, 2.99, 2.999 all negative, are just to the right of negative 3. So now I need to go to the left of negative 3. So I'm going to go negative 3.1, enter, and I'm going to get negative 0 0.4761905. And I'm going to write that in my table. And then I'm going to go negative 3.01, and I'm going to get negative 0.4975124. Write that down in my table. Then negative 3.001, and I'm going to get negative 0.49975. And this also is tending to negative one half. And so my conclusion is that this limit as x approaches negative three is equal to negative one half. So that's how you use your graph and calculator to do limits by tables. Real simple folks. You're going to just take whatever the function is. So let's try a different one. If I try Let's try something like uh, sine of 2x over sine of x. Okay, same kind of situation here. Now, if you're dealing with trig functions, make sure you go to your mode. And when you go to your mode, make sure you're in radian mode. Okay, make sure you're in radian mode. Okay, go ahead and graph this. We're going to get this function here. Here's our graph. And just for fun, I want to show you something. So if I go to calculate and I go to value and I type x equals zero, okay, I get nothing. This function does not exist at x equals zero. There's a hole there. Why? Because sine of zero is zero and so you end up with a zero on the bottom. So the calculator can't calculate it. So I want to take the limit as x approaches zero and I want to do this by a table again so I'm going to go second calculate value and I want to get numbers really close to zero so I'm going to try 0.1 and I get 1.99 0.01 0.2 0.3 0.4 0.5 0.6 0.7 0.8 0.9 0.10 0.11 0.12 0.13 0.14 0.15 0.16 0.17 0.18 0.19 0.20 0.21 0.22 
right? 1.9999 and then 0 0.001. These look like they're tending towards y equals 2. Now I'm going to go from the left, negative 0.1, 1.99, negative 0.01, 1.9999 and negative 0.001, 1.999999, also tending to 2. So the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 2x over sine x is 2. So that's how we do limits by tables using our graphing calculator. Instead of having to type in 0 here and 0 here every time, or excuse me, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001 here and here every time. We get the calculator to do it for us. And the more complicated the function is, the better this option is. So that's how we use the value function on our TI graphing calculator to find limits by tables. And we can jot these numbers down in a table to show our instructor that we've in fact found these values. So there it is, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I appreciate you watching.